Hello friends, uh, welcome again to this new session on uh, triangles. Now in the last session we saw a very important uh, theorem and we also saw its proof and it's called basic proportionality theorem. Now here what we are going to do is we are going to study some of the corollaries to basic proportionality theorem. So corollaries are nothing but uh, something, some results which are which can be directly seen from some established result. So you know it's not new or different uh, theorem. It's the same uh, theorem but with different manifestations. So or the same theorem leads to similar type of results. So those are corollaries. So let us now um, you know see what are corollaries. Cor uh, corollaries can we see here? Now uh, let's recap. Uh, BPT first that is basic proportionality theorem so by basic uh, proportionality theorem which is also called as Thales theorem we learned that right basic proportionality basic proportionality so pardon my spelling proportion proportionality right so basic proportionality theorem or, or the other name was Thales theorem Haley's theorem. Now, what does this theorem say? It says that in a triangle, if DE, one line, intersects or cuts two sides of the triangle such that DE is parallel to BC, it's parallel to one of the sides, then we know that AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. Correct? This is our Thales theorem. Now let's see some corollaries to it. So corollary one. So if I add one to both sides to the equation, add one AE by EC plus one is equal to, if you see, what will it be? It will be AD, take LCM and do the basic mathematics divided by DB is equal to AE plus EC divided by EC, isn't it? Now, if you see what is AD plus DB, guys, AD plus DB is simply AB, isn't it? So, hence we can write AB upon DB is equal to AE, sorry, AC, AE plus, if you see, AE plus EC on the right hand side is nothing but AC, AC upon EC isn't it so hence this is the first corollary so first corollary is uh, or the first result of bpt was that this upon this was equal to this upon this isn't it now the first corollary is full thing divided by this part is equal to again on the other side full thing divided by this part now, if you see, uh, this this has resulted from a rule in proportions called componendo. Componendo. So from there also, we could have said it directly. Componendo is nothing but if a by b is equal to c by d. Let us say there is a there are two ratios which are equal. Then come rule of componendo is a plus b upon b is equal to c plus d upon t. For example. 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 6, isn't it? So, according to the rule of componendo, you will get 1 plus 2 by 2 is equal to 3 plus 6 by 6, which is clearly, if you see, this is 3 upon 2 is equal to 9 upon 6. Both are equal to 3 by 2, isn't it? So, this is called componendo rule. So, from componendo rule, we had one ratio and we converted this ratio into this, right? So, this is also valid or you know by bpt we can say this also can be directly said isn't it now corollary 2 would be nothing but you invert this ratio the final ratio what you got you invert it invert it means take the reciprocal so hence you know db upon ab will be equal to ec upon ac isn't it this is this rule is called invert endo invert endo means what if 2 by 3 so i'm writing the example of in, invert endo here 2 by 3 is equal to let's say 4 upon 6 then if you invert or take the reciprocal then also it will be same 
okay so this is another corollary another corollary could be nothing but uh if you see uh, another corollary could be let us say you know uh, let's start from uh, the first one itself so let us say i start from here so ab by db okay ab by db is equal to ac by ec isn't it now what can i say about db i can say ab upon db if you see what is db here db here is nothing but full minus ad right ab minus ad so i can write ab as a, a db as ab minus ad ad just check once again what is we are talking about we are talking about db that means we are talking about this length db now db is nothing but full ab minus ad so ab minus ad i have written here now next ac upon ec now what is ec let's see what is ec ec again is nothing but ac minus ae ac minus ae so let us write ac minus ae right and then use the invert into again so you'll get what you take the reciprocal by ab in fact you could have started from second corollary directly but never mind so this is ac minus ae by ac right this can be further written as ab upon ab now i'm splitting the fraction minus ad upon ab is equal to ac by ac minus ae by ac now if you see what is ab by ad it is nothing but one minus ad by ab is equal to 1 minus ae by ac so if you simplify this this one and this one will go this minus sign and this minus sign will also go so hence it becomes ad by ab is equal to ae by ec this is another corollary so what all corollaries did we learn so i will just summarize here first by bpt you had got ad by db is equal to ae by ec is it it this was the basic one and the first corollary to it was nothing but ab by db is equal to a e a c by ec right by adding one you had got that see we had got this one right ab by db is equal to ac by ec here right now we this was from component isn't it the rule of componendo related to proportions now we did invert endo and we got db by ab is equal to ec by ac and this is called invert endo invert endo right and third one with some mathematical manipulation we got what did we got as the third one ad by ab so i'll write here ad ad by ab is equal to ae by ac right and then you can you can actually derive many more let's say now i will use something called alternando what is that alternando alternando and what is alternando alternando says that if 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 6 then 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by 6 so if you see i just interchange these places these numbers right so hence using alternando in all we can actually have many more corollaries so if you see ad by ae if i take the first one and apply alternando that means you exchange these values so what will you get ad by ae will be equal to db by ec then here in corollary one if you apply alternando you will get ab by ac is equal to db by db by ec right now likewise you can all all other or uh, you know um, if you apply let us say on the second corollary you will get db by ec 
is equal to AB by AC, which is same as the fifth one. And then uh, yeah, and and the and if you apply the same thing on the third one, you'll get AD upon AE is equal to AB upon AC. Isn't it? Another way to look at it. So what did I do? I just applied alternando on this and I got this. Right? And then there are multiple others. What, what others like, you know, you can do cross multiply on, on the first one here or the basic BPT. And what will you get? You will get AD into EC is equal to AE into DB, isn't it? Just cross multiplication. Similarly, for all others, you can get a corresponding corollary. So for this, you will get AB into EC is equal to DB into AC. Okay. Similarly, here, what will you get? You will get DB into AC is equal to AB into EC, which is same as the previous one. So I'm not going going through this. So if, if let's say you do this, this will be AD into AC, AB, AD into AC is equal to AB into AE. And likewise, you can you can have so many corollaries, isn't it? Why am I uh, going through these many corollaries is simple, is that while problem solving, there could be cases where they're asking you to prove something of this sort. Yeah. So whenever you see something of this sort, you must know that this is, this must be, or this might be a case of application of basic proportionality theorem right so you can see so many corollaries could be drawn using just one theorem okay so please keep these in mind and whenever such problems are there uh, where you are uh, encountering such kind of expressions to be proved then uh, you can try basic proportionality theorem over there